eBay. Today I am showing you a Funai Model Z V four two seven FX four. This is a VCR and DVD recorder combo. Uh, the unique thing about this combo is that the DVD and the VCR will both utilize every output on this device, which I will show you all of them later. But the most important one, I think, for most people is HDMI. So you can do VHS tapes over HDMI with this VCR. Um, I don't have it hooked up through HDMI right here. I have it connected to a CRT, as you'll see in a second when I test it for you. But uh, it does work. It has been 110% tested. Um, I tested the DVD recording. I tested all of the inputs. I tested all of the outputs. I tested all of the buttons. I tested all the buttons on the remote. Everything is working great. Let's go ahead and pop a tape in. Let's see a little Jurassic Park here. Go up to the TV. Stop that. And let's have a look at the DVD. Pop that in. This button with the LED next to it, right under the DVD drive, will switch us to the DVD. We go up, we'll see that it's loading. actually test with you now whether the play button on the front of this will function as the enter button. It will. Nice. That's always a good thing to see on these because you don't always have the remote. Sometimes you just lose the remote in your room. It's nice to be able to know you can just hit the button and play your DVD if you need to. Um, the remote on this is... Not necessarily a necessity, but it is if you want to do certain things, like um, if you want to record a DVD and then play that DVD in another DVD player. In order to do that, you have to finalize those discs, and the only way to finalize it on this unit is going through some of the menus with the remote. So you will need the remote for that. Um, you'll also need the remote to switch the HDMI um, resolution. It can do 480p, 720p, or 1080p through the HDMI. You will have to press the HDMI button on the remote to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the inputs and the outputs on this guy. So on the front here, we have an S video, composite video, and um, RCA audio input. On the back, we have, go ahead and unplug those so we don't get that buzzing. Going, uh, we have HDMI. We have composite output. We have another composite input, another S-video input. 
we have component output, S video output, a secondary RCA audio output, and a coax digital audio output. And I was actually, apart from the HDMI, I was most impressed that the audio from the VHS tapes comes out of the coax digital output. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it, it has to be converted to a digital signal anyway for the HDMI to work. But, um, yeah, it's just nice. No, no matter what connection you use back here, it will play the VHS through it. Now, that being said, I do want to warn you, don't expect the VHS to look any better than what you get out of this one your normal little yellow RCA composite. Um, I tested it through the S-Video, through the component, and through the HDMI. Especially on the S-Video and the component, it's a little oversaturated. It's a little unnatural because um, this, is, this is not going to be like an S-VHS, a Super VHS VCR, where it's meant to come out of the S video from the design of the mechanism. All this is doing is taking the composite signal and converting it to S video, converting it to component, converting it to HDMI. So it's not really gonna look any better than that one. It's just going to connect to those and display if that is how you would prefer to do it and then of course anything on the DVD side is going to look better through first that and then a little more a little better through that and then the best would be through that uh, upscaled. Um, another thing I will warn you I tested this on a 58 inch 4k TV in my living room it is convenient that that is there because it is one cord from one box to be able to play DVDs and VHS. But you have to know going in that VHS just does not look good on a 50 plus inch screen. I don't think that it ever will. And uh, in the case of my TV and <clears throat> probably many TVs nowadays... There is no way for me to display it in a 4-3 square aspect ratio on the TV. Uh, even if I turn it to 480p, any signal you connect to my TV, I have a 2022 Vizio model, it wants to display it in widescreen. There's no way around it, so it's going to stretch it out a little bit. So, um, convenient, but it won't work miracles. I'll just say that. Um... So as far as the physical condition goes, it is in, I would say, good condition, bordering on very good. There's only a few slight scratches on the top. Front's pretty much perfect. Sides are pretty much perfect. Uh, the remote is almost brand new. It has a little scuff mark on that button, but that's about it. You have a set of working batteries. is going to come pre-installed in it. You get the remote and the unit itself, which has the attached power cord. I'm not including any video cables with this one since you have so many possibilities. I will let you handle that on your own. And I think that is about it. Thanks for looking, guys.